Hey everyone and welcome back to Farm Girl in Progress. I am Nadine. Today is day four of our A-frame turkey tractor build. <clears throat> it got really late the other night so we ended up just cleaning up and calling it a day and I forgot to end my video. But we did finish getting the nest box done so let me show you that here. Um, and I did start the framing of the side door. So let me go ahead and show you here um, what we got finished the other day and what we're gonna be working on today to hopefully finish it. So here is the nest box edition. It is on the end of the coop here. And it is just a little, I guess you could say similar to the A-frame. <clears throat> it's secure. There's no door on it, so it's fully enclosed, and we are going to attach this. We just need to um, put a line of silicone at the back so water can't get to it. Um, and we just sided it with some leftover tongue and groove siding that we had left over from our big chicken coop. <clears throat> and then here's the inside. It's a pretty decent size for... A nesting box. I decided against dividing it because there's probably only going to be two or three hens in here with the rooster. Um, maybe four if there's not a rooster in here, but as of right now, um, the rooster is staying, so he will be in here. So that's, I think, good enough for two or three hens. Um, <clears throat> and then the roost may not work in here there's just not enough width and height for where I have it and there's really nowhere else to put it so I may just end up cutting that out but we'll see the hens might be able to get up there and use it who knows um, and then I did put this piece here this is going to be the um, anchor point for the hinge door and the starting point for the siding. This top part is going to be sided like the back wall um, and then this part down here is going to be a door that opens up so I can easily clean it. I can collect the eggs. Um, <clears throat> I can get birds in and out if I need to. Um, and once that's done, this coop is pretty much done with the exception of the triangular door on the end of the run side of the chicken tractor here. Oh, and then the wheels. We're gonna put the wheels down here on either side so that it's easy to move. So that's what we got done yesterday and what we need to work on today. So let me get you guys set up on some legs and we'll go ahead and start knocking some of this stuff out.
so far we used a piece of leftover roofing panel for the roof here from my garden bed build and we got the door finished so it has a little notch here so I can pull the sliding door open and close and then it latches down here with a little carabiner opens up then nice So all we have left to do is this triangular door on the end.
door on there I might do something a little bit better of a situation later on down the road but for now it works and we've got mr. Dunn in there already we are gonna give him two hens from the big flock so he's not alone anymore um, but we're gonna do that later tonight once everybody's roosting but yeah everything is done what do you guys think I really like how it turned out which means now this hunk of junk can be returned. Because it was not at all worth $300. It's falling apart literally everywhere. So, <clears throat> well, it only took four days and some of my honey's help, but it is officially done and I'm glad to have another project crossed off of my list. And I think this is gonna work really, really well. Um, for this secondary rooster until I can find him a home. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching guys and remember to grow where you're planted. <laughs> <laughs>